Yeah, g'day and welcome back to the channel. Long time viewers will know that I kind of like to do a little bit of hobby backyard metal casting. Both sort of technical castings like this one, but also some more artistic ones like this statue of Paul McCartney. So my furnace, I like to run it on waste oil. For that, I need a blower. Initially, I thought, man, I need the biggest blower I could find. Yeah, maybe something like this. This is my furnace blower. Just a little 70 watt motor. Squirrel cage blower. It's really nice and quiet. Picked it up cheap. It works beautiful with the furnace. However, I've never bothered to actually make a stand for it. So, so far I've always just been putting it up on bricks. When I got it, it had this nice little cast duct on it. Nice thing, but you lose a bit of energy moving the air around the corner. So I 3D printed up a transition duct. The whole idea was that I would just slip the furnace pipe, which is the same diameter water pipe as this, slip this on and away I went. But that uh, slip on part has now broken. So what I really need to do is cast a new duct out of aluminium, but I don't have time for that at the moment. This was a, an off cut I used for something else. It's got about the right diameter. So I'll just take that on for now, temporarily, ha <laughs> ha. Fun fact, there's a thick aluminium tape sometimes used for temporary repairs on the outside of aircraft. It's called speed tape, but some people call it instant aircraft. Well, that's the sort of top quality temporary repair that should last for at least two more years. Now, whatever it was mounted to before was mounted with this piece of aluminium, which judging by its reflective paint, I reckon somebody's recycled a road sign, huh? Now, when it comes to furnace equipment, I don't really put a lot of value on trying to get it all looking beautiful. It generally takes a pretty hard life. As long as it's functional, I don't really care if it's pretty or not. Now the first bits to weld are the captive nuts. Frank commented, why are you stick welding mate? Man, I like stick welding. Man, don't you like that sound of bacon frying? I was given the advice last week just to leave a little gap in the corner for the weld to penetrate so that I'll get flatter welds. Oh, mate. No! Hands up anybody who's ever made something which is like a mirror image of what it's supposed to be out of angle iron. This was supposed to be here to give clearance, but of course, yeah, no. That piece was supposed to go forward. That's what angle grinders are for. Well, that's pretty, pretty ugly. I think it's gonna work. 
right with some bolts underneath it to adjust it it's going to come out at just the right height about 20 centimeters One hour later. Now according to the instructions, once this is paint dried for an hour, you're supposed to put it in an oven and bake it for another hour at 200 Celsius. Oh wait a minute. All right. Very simple electrics. There's not even a switch on this. And I'm kind of sick of switching it by just plugging it in and out. So what I'd like to do is make up some sort of a little electrical housing for the start capacitor and the junction. And also put an on-off switch in here. Okay, so I need to make up some sort of box to hold that. Let's make it 90 by 80 by 50. Yeah, four sides of the box will be attached to the housing and the final two sides will be like a lid. So I'll do the four sides first. Now that it's wired up, I better test it before I button it up. Yep, that's working fine. Now I realize it's pretty bad form to rivet something like this up permanently closed but I don't have any of those uh, riv nuts which would be the I ideal thing to put into the sheet metal and it's not that important I very much doubt anybody's ever going to go back into this again and if they do drilling out aluminium rivets is really not that hard One hour later. Many, many minutes later. Well, now it's glowing inside. We can switch over to oil. It's always a bit of a challenge to get it to start, but let's try it. Oh, 
Well, I'm happy with those mods. It makes the blower much easier to set up, and also the on-off switch is just a lot easier and nicer to use. Well, thanks a lot for watching. See you again next time.